Hello, I'm Igor TL uh, underscore carve. And I am here to show some of my carvings with the assistance of my ketchup bottle. Because <clears throat> I don't know how to use it, this technology. It's all new to me. I'm an elder. And uh, I started carving about uh, two years ago now. And my muse is a guy on the internet named Doug Linker. He's an excellent teacher and I recommend him. So this is one of the creatures that, uh, that comes more or less from Doug. And it starts out as a piece of basswood. You can see it says basswood there. And so you can see that that's the transition from the piece of wood to the final carving. Do we pause or do we? Um, my ketchup bottle says I'm supposed to have a name for him, but he doesn't have a name. None of these have names. Uh, they have kind of personalities though. Um, I give a lot of them away, but I keep the few that I, I like best. Um, they're cur carved out of the basswood, as I said, uh, typically with a uh, carving knife. I had started to use a uh, pocket knife thinking that's what I wanted to do, but a pocket knife just isn't the right tool. So um, you kind of lay out what you're going to do on the piece of wood, and then you take away the parts that don't look like what you want. And I'm just going to show you about another five or six of the carvings that are similar. They're all made out of basswood. They're all made out of about the same stock size. Um, I find it really difficult to carve women, girls. And so most of my carvings are guys because you put a mustache and a beard on them, they're a male. A female requires more care. You need to change the... Uh, structure and also women have longer noses, thinner faces, and I'm just not practiced at it. This guy should have a name, but he doesn't have one. I think he's got a lot of character. He is uh, water witching, which is taking a forked uh, piece of tree or metal and holding it just so in your hands. And the theory is, is as you walk over whatever you're looking for, that the sticks will twitch and lead you to that goal. Uh, I like the orange hats. A lot of these guys have orange hats. Uh, another gnome, and uh, this one's pretty typical, uh, the pointed hat. And one of my signature pieces is this little uh, white speck. That is to represent a bird who has flown over and pooped on his shoe. And it makes kind of a, a nice signature as well as being kind of funny because I think these guys would live closely and uh, in harmony with, with birds of the forest. Again, no name. Uh, but a personality. He's got kind of a rakish hat. He's he's kind of a debonair. One last uh, gnome that we're going. I'm going to show you. Uh, all of these were carved during the pandemic. It was a hobby that I took up with the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, one of the fun things is learning how to paint. Um, I started off by just putting solid colors on the figures, but then I started to add some shadow and uh, highlights, and I think it makes the, the painting uh, look a lot more realistic, trying to put shadow in it. For comparison, here are a couple of smaller ones. These are only about an inch and a quarter tall. They, of course, are from the gnome family. This is a little guy and his, his, his partner, his wife, and uh, they live in the forest with the big gnomes, but they live in a smaller house. They have different colored hats because they're small. Small people should have burgundy hats.